Questions 90 to 93. DNA revisits the exam. Okay, so in question 66, if you haven't seen it already, in this pink booklet, I already discussed the ideas of anti-parallel for DNA, solubility, hydrogen bonding, stability of the DNA molecule, all of that we talked about already in the work solution for question 66. So I'm not going to discuss any of those at this point. So we'll just look at the rules that ACER gave and then we'll just solve the problems. So the rules that ACER gives includes A to T, G to C, which of course uh, most of you know already. And this one is two hydrogen bonds and this one is three hydrogen bonds. And the anti-parallel binding of the DNA strands, with one strand being five prime to three prime and the other one three prime to five prime. And finally, at the bottom of the page, ACER gives an example of a simple rotation. So this is geometric reasoning, just that you're able to see how the DNA molecule can be turned around. Just simple rotation, not flipped, just simply turned around. And with these simple rules, all the questions can be answered. So let's begin with question 90. Consider the single-stranded sequence. So here we have the single-stranded sequence that Acer provides. So what would pair with it? Okay, so we have 5 prime to 3 prime. This is what we were given. These are the sequences of the bases. So it's going to bind to 3 prime to 5 prime, 3 prime to 5 prime, following the rules G to C, A to T, A to T, A to T, A to T, and G to C. So this must be the complementary strand of DNA. So now you just look for the answers. And I would start by looking at answer choice D because it's the most similar. It starts with 3 prime, then it has C, but then it goes wrong. <laughs> it has A, T, so it's, it's not correct. And then answer choice C also starts with 3 prime, but then it's G, A, so that's also incorrect. So then I have to reassess A and B. And then keeping in mind the simple rotation rule, I can just take my strand that I was able to determine and just turn it. And so this 5 prime will come over to the other side and we will still have the same sequence. G, A, T, A, T, C, 3 prime. And so the answer is A. And thus Acer once again shows its affinity not for hemoglobin but for opposites. Okay. And now we move on to question 91. Which of the following represents identical double-stranded sequences? Of course, this is going to be, again, a matter of simple rotation. So let me uh, put on some special effects. We have 5 prime, AG, 3 prime, 3 prime, TC, 5 prime, which is answer choice D. And so I'm going to move that in here. These are the identical ones. And here we go, special effects. I am going to rotate it. Whoa. And now I have 3 prime T, 3 prime T, and then C, C, oops, C, and then 5 prime, C, and then 5 prime. Then I have 3 prime G, 3 prime G, A, A, and then 5 prime. Now I look at answer choice D, and I see that it's correct. Now why did I jump on answer choice D? Because once you understand this, as you've seen it once in your life, you will always be able to do it in your head and you'll be able to just look at the answer choices uh, just quickly and you'll be able to just do the simple rotation and see what the answer must be. Question 92. We're still just using A to T, G to C, anti-parallel and simple rotation. Okay, so the question asks how many double-stranded sequences containing only A and T are given in the table. So basically, I just isolated this part of the table. Obviously, during the exam, you would not rewrite the table. You would just look at it and then imagine a simple rotation. You can easily see that 5 prime A, A to 3 prime and 3 prime T, T to 5 prime is exactly the same as this one. 
This, again, it's a simple rotation. And so the 5 prime TT ends up on top. So we have 5 prime TT and the 3 prime AA ends up at the bottom, 3 prime AA. So this is a repeated sequence. I'm just going to remove one of them because it's a repetition. So only this one is original. Now I just have to assess whether or not these are repeated. Now notice at the top we have 5 prime TA, 5 prime TA. So when I rotate that, I get 5 prime, it should be TA if it's a repeat. But it's not a repeat because this is 5 prime AT. So it's different from this one. So these are three unique double-stranded sequences containing only A and T in the table. And so for 92, the answer is C, 93. 16 residue, chemically synthesized. Okay, so I rewrote the 16 residue <laughs> here. Of course, on the exam, you wouldn't have to do that. Okay, and it tells us to abide by the same rules. And it says that this molecule will be able to bind to itself, but I can look at the answer choices and I can see that one of them is 16 base pairs. And that would suggest that the entire molecule was able to bind to another entire molecule of the same sequence. So at least I have to check if that's going to be possible. You wouldn't have to write out this sequence, but what you can do is you start taking this sequence and you do a simple rotation to see if it would indeed match. So you take the 3 prime C is here, 3 prime C, and then you follow the sequence A, T, A, T, A, T, A, T. Then you continue T, G, G, C, C, T, G, G, C, C, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you've written it all out, then you just make sure if the rules have been followed. So we have G to C, A to T, 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 G to C, G to C, G to C, G to C, A to T, 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 G to C, bingo, 16. So that's the maximum because the maximum number of bases that it has, that's all that it could bind to. That's following the rules. And so for 93, the answer is indeed C, 16 base pairs. And you can read more about DNA in Bio 12213 and Org 12.5.